Hello, and welcome to the new InfoSoup Library Catalog. In this video, I'll show you how you could log into your account, locate an item you're looking for, place a hold on that item, and manage your holds. This can be useful if your home library doesn't have the item you want, or if all the copies of the item are checked out and you want to be added to the waitlist. By the end of this video, you should feel confident navigating your InfoSoup account, but you're always welcome to call or visit the library if you have any questions. If you've placed holds in InfoSuit before, the process itself hasn't really changed, but some of the screens and buttons may look a little different. So step one is to log in to your library account. The first thing you need to do is log in to the library's catalog site. You can do that by clicking or touching the Log In My Account button in the upper right corner of the screen. That will open a menu with account features where you will select the green Log In Register button. This will take you to the login page. Here you'll enter your library card number or the username you've created and your library PIN. If you're not sure what your PIN is or if it isn't working for you, give the library a call and the librarian can reset it for you. Once you've entered your information, click the blue Login button. This will take you back to the catalog's main page, but this time you'll see your account name in the upper right corner. This indicates that you are now logged in. Step two is to find an item in the catalog. You can browse the catalog for something that looks interesting, or you can use the search bar at the top of the page to find a specific item. Type the item you're looking for into the search bar and hit enter or click the magnifying glass button to start searching. This will take you to a page of search results. You may have to browse through the results a little bit to find what you're looking for. Many titles listed will appear in several formats, like large print, audiobook, or ebook. When placing your hold, be sure to select the format you want to use. To select an item, click on that title. That will take you to the item's record. On the record page, you can again view the formats, as well as a summary and reviews and other details. So step three is to place the hold. Once you've selected the format on the item screen, Click the green Place Hold button. This will open a new box where you'll have a drop down Pick Up At menu. Click the Pick Up menu and select the library where you would like the item sent. Then click the green Place Hold button. This will take you back to the items page, where the button on the right will now say Cancel Hold, which you can do at any time if you've changed your mind. Step four is to manage your holds. Anytime you'd like to view your holds, you can click your account name in the upper right corner to open your account menu. Select On Hold to go to the page that displays all of the items you have on hold. It also shows what number you are in the holds list, and if your item is in transit or if it is ready to be picked up. You can also cancel or pause holds on this page. Once your hold is placed, it should arrive at your library within a few days if copies are available. If there are no copies available of your item, you'll be placed on a waiting list for the next available copy. When your item is ready for you, you'll receive an email or phone call depending on your account preferences. To set up or change your account preferences, call or visit the library. And that's all there is to it. I hope this guide has helped you place holds in our new catalog. Feel free to call or visit the library anytime if you have questions about how to use the site or if you need any assistance placing holds.